Okay, so I've been having a little scrape on the surface here and I found a little glass vial and this medallion, some sort of medallion. So um, yeah, that might clean up enough to see what it actually has on it. And also <laughs> a squashed like cellulose doll's head. <laughs> But yeah, great. Okay guys, so we're at a tip we've not been to for a very long time. And at first, I wasn't very hopeful. Um, I found nothing. And I've got my first find down here. Um, and if it is complete, then it will be my find of the day. Right, it is just down here. Can you spot it? I know some of you like spotting i'm really excited i can't wait any any longer okay it's here hello. hello okay so we are back at a location we haven't been to for no. it must be yes. two years two years yeah um but i've got a feeling it's going to involve some struggling yeah it will it will involve some struggling but i think um once we get there we might find some good stuff yeah so, so let's, let's do, do it, it. is making excited noises up here so let's go and see what she found I think you can see her if oh does she have legs though that's the thing oh please 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 oh, oh my goodness she's looking like she has legs oh no oh my goodness no way guys my goodness she's gorgeous she has hair eyes eyebrow mouth uh, oh wow so what have you found alex let me are see ready? yeah 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 are you ready yes <gasps> oh wow it's I'm, got a face it's got tiny it's tiny and it's got a face i'm gonna zoom in hang on <laughs> look at that it looks I've like never, a man i've never seen one so small that has a little painted it on. It looks like a man. Eyebrows, eyes. Is it holding something? Oh. It's got a tiny oh, bottom. Bottom, <laughs> as usual. It looks like it's holding something. No, it's not. It's not. No, it's just got its little arms out in front of him. Oh, wow. That's or amazing. Or them. <laughs> That's fantastic. It's your first find. My first find. I honestly didn't think we were actually going to find anything because there's lots of leaves here. Yeah. Um, yeah, and the ground's completely covered. There's not been any fresh digging. Yes. And my first find is this. But nothing escapes northern mudlarks. Not, oh, nothing gets past us. <laughs> and you found, like, that medallion. Yeah, so, that was my first even find. Even though, at first, it seemed really grim. Yeah. We've actually... It's Sorry already, about my uh, my trowel oh, yeah. waving around in front of the camera here, but I'm trying it's to hold... It's already been an amazing day. Yeah. You can go home now. I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm wearing a different cap today, by the way, because um, I left my favourite one at home. But, oh my goodness, guys, I am absolutely chuffed. Look, that is my, like, favourite find of the day. And we've just got here. It's, oh my goodness. I love them. Oh, and I did give him a little bit of a clean. And you can't see it but he has a tiny little number four on his back or her back or whatever they are but I love him I keep calling it him I love them <laughs> and I love the fact there's a little mouth there's a little the little eyes and it's all, it anyway I won't go on about it too much I can't wait to clean them up properly but I've also found some other things down here so I'll bring you down and have a look. Right, this is it. It's some sort of tray and it looks pewter. I can't stop holding this little fella. I'm going to put them in my bag. 
in my front pouch my very front pouch here is like my special one my specialist just tiny treasures go in there and they're protected as well anyway yeah uh what's this it looks cuter and it looks like it's got stuff on it oh wow yes it does actually they're like birds oh, i don't know if you can see yeah look it looks kind of um i don't know chinese yeah look this is like a little figure there and it looks like it's really detailed but it's really difficult to see can you see it's got like plating on it it looks like copper plating it doesn't quite look like gold and there are birds like eagles i don't know if you can see the wings here there's the head it's really intricately decorated but it's really difficult to see i don't know if the sun was out might be able to get it on an angle that you can see but anyway i'm not sure if i'll take that it is really interesting though i could use it um and make it into something else or take impressions of some of the patterns around the edge to make jewelry oh and this if you're looking at this this is just a little um like cosmetic paste pot still has the tin lid and the like a little logo on there look empty though <sighs> that has is just disintegrated but i think that is the remains of a pocket watch case mom's down there scraping around we have to because everywhere's just covered in leaves it's that time of year where all the leaves have fallen and they've not rotted away so we're having to scrape them we're doing some more scraping and we've found it's holding it some whole bottles this is oh i think it's um it's just muck e but that's probably muck you and yeah and that's a beer obviously we've got a I few think little... roots growing into it and i can't get it i think we've got another beer bottle here but it's the root, yeah, I think the root is actually growing inside the bottle and we can't actually get it out the ground. Nope. It works good. As I was saying, look, found this bottle stop in the top of this bottle. And what's it say? McEwen. Edinburgh. No, I'm joking. It's Edinburgh. No, I'm joking. Oh. Oh, we've got some more. Coming out with these nettle roots. Yeah, all these nettles that are waiting to come back up in the spring. Oh. Be gone. It's a little bottle. Oh yeah, it's like a little medicine. I've got anything okay. on it. And there's a flasky thing there, look. Amber glass, screw top. Um, kind of like the ghost oh. of a label. Oh my goodness! <laughs> Look at that! Wow! That you know what? That's almost mold. like a um, some sort of sculpture, a natural sculpture. The, it's the um, two part mold shows up really. Oh yeah, it does. Yeah. It's a metaphor for how uh, nature takes over human. It's gone right inside. Look. <laughs> I love it. It actually is really cool. Do you think it would grow? The nettle? It would, it would grow again out the top? Probably, if you put water in and some soil. Look at the moss on this tree. 
absolutely and try and get it to focus on it beautiful look at it all bobbly they're like little bubbles little mossy bubbles all over the whole tree i think this is actually a um uh elder yeah you can tell it's an elder because it's very brittle when it's beautiful natural bubbles Okay, so we decided life's too easy, so we're going to do some struggling because we can see things under here, under all this undergrowth. So yeah, and this is a really steep bank side look. So yeah, there's Alex standing amongst the undergrowth. So let's see what we can find under the undergrowth without falling over. Have a few bottles here, bottles and jars. That one. Oh, just a jar, I thought it was green, but it's got green paint in it. These are more vintage than antique. But you know, you can still find really good stuff in vintage dumps. So I'll get back to you when I found something. Alex is approaching it from the top. It's a cup here, what's this? It's broken. Lots of berries. So if there was a red bead, it'd be a bit difficult. A bit difficult to see. As mum said, we're under the trees now. Um, and these trees are just, well, they're not really trees, they're more like shrubs. But underneath them, we know, are <laughs> things. Vintage treasures, I think. We're gonna try and attack it from a different angle to mum. Okay. We're doing a kind of crawly thing going on here. Look, a hole. Actually, this looks like a badger hole, a badger set. It's quite a big hole. And it's dug out loads of stuff. Oh, I can't show you because I'm stuck between the, under the branches, but I have to step in the hole for a second. Yeah, look, wow. There are literally dozens of bottles that it's thrown out. And see that interesting little like yellowish pot thing there, which actually could be something really nice. Uh, and, oh my goodness, there's just tons of stuff here. And it's very like 1960s. What is this? Can M E X Can Max the something something <laughs> Right I might have to turn the camera off and read this. Okay, so it's Can Max the perfumed disinfectant spray. It's a vintage disinfectant bottle. That is actually really, really cool. I've not seen anything like that before. Oh, is mum going in for that yellow pot? Are you, are you seeing that yellow pot thing? Oh, she is, she's going in for it. She's struggling, she's struggling. 
Okay, Alex saw this yellow pot as well, but I'm closest to it. So let's see what it is. Oh my goodness, it's whole. It just hasn't got its lid. Fantastic. It's whole. It might have a crack. I think it's got one small crack in it. Can you see what I can see down here? But that's great. Look at that. In the meantime, I've just seen something down here. Can you see what I can see down here? I think you probably can. That's great. There. Oh my goodness, it's a, it's a car. It's a little green car. I don't know what kind of car it is. Mum might know. A little tin toy. Oh, it's a, Volks that's a Volkswagen. A Volkswagen. Great. It's a green. It's so cute. Oh, wow. No, that's, I'm not sure. I see a Morris. A Morris? It's like a 1930s kind of car, isn't it? 50s. 50s. I don't know. Don't know anything about cars. <laughs> okay, I'm in a really uncomfortable position, but what's this? Another whole thing. It's a whole glass. Look at that. It's a little tumbler. I'll save that for when Sarah comes to stay because I know she loves drinking out of um, glasses that we found on the rubbish dump. <laughs> There's another pot here that looks whole. It is, it's orange. Another orange one. Mum's just found a pot and I've seen this thing. I don't know what it is. Is it anything? It's just a pot. Oh, I think it was the arrangement of a tin lid. Lemon squeezy. Was it wash up wizard? Oh, if you find a um, fairy liquid bottle, you know what? They're selling for like £70. Oh, yeah, sweet. <laughs> what happened that fairy liquid bottles sell for a fortune for some reason? I'm filming you. Shippums, a mini Shippums paste pot. Some people love them, some people hate them. So where we were was like late 19th, early, very early 20th century where I found our little pudding doll. And here it's more like 1950s, 1960s stuff. Um, and I know different people find different eras interesting. Um, and we found some really interesting things here before, but it was years ago. Oh my goodness, mom's just found a whole lemon squeezer and I, I was just saying. Is this a whole lemon squeezer? Oh my goodness, it is. <laughs> Alex and I were just saying we need a lemon squeezer. Because we didn't have a lemon squeezer and I was getting pips everywhere. That is so random anyway. We do actually use some of the things we find in tips and we're not ashamed of it. Oh my goodness, there's so much stuff down here. I'm <laughs> just saying, we need to buy a lemon squeezer, and here is one. Look at that! I think it's just got a chip on there, but we could grind the spout smooth. How random! Oh, I just found this. I think it's a bit of a doll's head. An old rubber doll's head. It's quite an interesting patch here. Interesting vintage bits and bobs. It's a tube here, cream of some sort. What does that say? Something model. <laughs> Probably makeup. I'm looking forward to finding some toys. This little teacup down here. Oh no, wait, it's plastic. Oh, that's, you know what? That's crazy. I just said toys. We'll get out from under there. I was just talking about toys and I found a little um, like plastic teacup with a little lamb on it. I don't know if you can see it. Wow. 
this is a really cool spot. Okay, I'm gonna turn the camera around now anyway because I'm gonna get under this undergrowth and it's not a very flattering angle at the minute. Mum's just found a pot and I've seen this thing. I don't know what it is. Is it anything? Oh, I think it was the remains of a tin lid. And, oh, oh look at that. Medicine. Okay, what's over here? Wooden thing. A little jar. What's this plastic thing? Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's a TV. <laughs> a little plastic TV. Oh, I wonder if it was a pencil sharpener or something. That's very uh, 60s. I might keep that. I like it. So I just pulled this up. It was upside down. I didn't know what that was. I was like, is it bone? But no, I think it's like a soapstone dish. And it has little holes around the edges. Is it stone? I think it is stone. Look, there, sorry, we're near a road, so we're sorry if it is noisy. But look, there's holes in... I don't know what that is. There's so much stuff down here is literally jam-packed. Is that a light bulb? Yes, yeah, a light bulb. <laughs> Who's this little fella down here? Looks like a Native American firing a bow. A little plastic toy. Look at him. That's pretty cool. I like it. I am really stuck amongst all these twigs now. <laughs> I've spotted something. I don't think it's a I don't think it's a berry. It's yellow. What is it? Oh, it's a bead. It is a big yellow bead. Look at that. I'm not sure what it's made of because I've got my glove on. Hang on. I think it might be glass or really hard plastic. We'll have to see, but that's, that's great. I love it. Big yellow bead. Oh my goodness. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. My hair's stuck again, everyone. In the tree. Oh, look at this. What is going on here? You see this? Oh, I'm stuck as well. I found this lid. I think mum's just found something. But I found this lid and it has something on it. What's this engine I saw? What was this? Engine series? Something preserves. Oh, it's like jam, marmalade, something like that. Spot engine series co-op preserves duchess of oh i think it's the train montrose oh it has a bit about the train duchess of something built 1938 something round oh That's cool, isn't it? I'm sure there are people out there that collect things like this. And I'm not sure what to do with this dish, but I like this little teacup. We've actually got a, um, a collection of like plastic toys at home. But this dish, is, I actually quite like the corroded look, you know, of the stone. It's quite appealing. I'm not sure though. I'll leave it here. I might come back to it. And a teacup with no handle. And of course, you can absolutely do things with these. That would make a perfect candle, like votive candle, wouldn't it? And I swear I saw one over here as well. Look, yeah. There's loads of berries on the ground, I'm afraid, so not be fooled. Is it broken? I think maybe, maybe so. Yes, quite broken. I mean, I'm not gonna take it, 
I've got far too many broken things that I need to do things with. And there's another one there, look. Oh, that's full of cracks. But there's so much potential. What's that? Oh. No, I don't know what that is. It's not focusing. Is that wood? I don't know. <laughs> There's all sorts of stuff here. Um, I'm going to look, continue. It goes all the way along here. That, that I think there might be a plant pot over there, so I'm going to continue on. Mum's finding some great stuff down the bank as well. So. Another glass vial. Really thin. And this. I found one of these before, but I can't remember what it was. Yeah, this green glass bottle with the pimples on it. I think it is some sort of disinfectant. Can't remember. But I think I'll leave it because I've got one. It's a meat paste pot here. Still got its lid on. Oh. <laughs> I tried to wipe it to see if I could read it and I actually wiped the lid off. Okay, so I can spy more stuff over here but you can see what a tangle it is absolute tangle of undergrowth but I'm going in regardless makes this broken no handle it's this it's a tube it's all this stuff down here ah the branches will let me go at the back got a hold of me See if we can clear clear some of these sticks out of the way. What's this? Oh my goodness, it's an ashtray. It says players. Players. I think players were a kind of cigarette. It's pretty um, corroded, I'm not sure, but it's interesting. Let's see what else there is. Corroded aluminium. That is a great big piece of iron. That was a bottle top. A plastic. Okay. Yeah, Again, Old pot bottle. No name on it. Oh, we've got an ashtray. Yeah, players. I think players. that was a kind of cigarette. Oh, like a branded sort of thing. Yeah. Oh, it's very um, vintage looking. Uh, this, um, <laughs> like, the paste pots as well. These would make great candle holders as well. Look at that. That would be a perfect little candle, wouldn't it? There's so much potential. Oh, there's brass. Spoon, of course. There's always a bit of old spoon. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. I found something down here. It's a toy. And you know what? Oh my goodness, no way. What? What is it? It's a mask. <laughs> oh my goodness. No. <laughs> oh my goodness. No way. This is a... That is great. This is a tacky 60s toy. It's, is it, it's a very 60s is toy. so funny. Oh my goodness, I love it. I love this looking foot. Uh, well, that is going in our cabinet. I love these looking foot. This, uh, yeah, this vintage stuff is actually great. This is fantastic. <laughs> right, hold on. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, that is so silly. It's the little arms of the glasses are broken off though, unfortunately, but wow, that's so random. I can't believe it's been so long since we've been here. It's actually brilliant, isn't it? It's been years, yeah. And there's all sorts of pots, little pots and jars and all sorts. But I have found a leg. It's a leg. <laughs> oh God, it's hideous. Oh, it's hideous. <laughs> oh, it's the grimy baby leg. <laughs> I want to find the head. I think the head would be um, pretty disturbing in that sort of state as well. Anyway, we got up here to look. Um, I'm just walking around with this baby leg, as you do. Oh, it's very difficult to film and struggle through all this undergrowth at the same time. Look what we brought this time. Clippers, some, some rusty old clippers. That don't work. <laughs> I think I'll just have to go back to crawling. Okay, I found something here. And I think it's one of those old glass batteries. And it looks whole. Look. It's very noisy around here, with engines going and things. I don't know about easy peasy lemon squeezy, but moving through these trees is difficult, difficult, lemon difficult. <sighs> yeah, there's some badger sets here. That's why we're finding all this stuff. The poor badgers have had to dig it all out. I hope they didn't cut themselves in the glass. Look. I've dug it out. It's a whole glass battery. It's even got the terminals on the top. Look at that. It's really heavy. I don't know if I'd be able to take that. It's heavy. It's still got its, um, what does it say on there? Acid level. Oh, it's really heavy. Have lead in it. Yeah, little finger holds on the sides. That's, I don't know when that would date from the war time? Like Second World War? Oh, and also I found this plastic thing. I'm not sure what it is. It looks like toy. Hair cutters, you know the kind I mean, like those kind, which is a bit strange. <laughs> oh, these clippers are really blunt, and I was just like crawling on all this glass, which isn't great, is it? They don't chop the branches, so like crawling is what you have to do. It's not great considering knees and glass don't go very well together what else have we got oh i've had half of like all the branches literally hanging out of my hair oh i don't know what that is and that is off a boot some people think these are little mini horseshoes but they're actually off human shoes oh goodness this is a workout. Oh look, ladies gloves. It even has the little button on there still. Can you see it, the little press stud? What's it say? It says something. Uh, something make, oh no, what's it say? 
English. Hey, in English. It says English. English make. They've seen better days, haven't they? The moss has um, colonised it now. What's that? Kind of looks like a mouse. Oh, it's a little um, another little teacup, like toy teacup. Looks like it's made of like aluminium, I think. A little bit too far gone though, unfortunately. And uh, oh goodness, there's all sorts. That's off like a sardine tin, you know that twisty thing on the top. And the lid. There's so much, there's so much here. Yeah, obviously, old shoes. There's plenty of those. Ugh, a fork. Yeah. We've got loads of cutlery. Um, perfect for like some sort of wind chime. We're gonna have to do that because we've got like a whole jar of spoons and forks now. Okay, and a little plastic dish. It's like a little jelly mold or something. Yeah, I'm saving all of these. We're going to have a um, plastic toy collection as well. What's this? It looks like a little toy pen knife. A toy pen knife. Or razor. Oh, I'm finding all the toys today. Fantastic. <laughs> What's that? Is it a bulb or something? Oh. I think it's off some sort of toy. Something, some registration number on the back. Must be out of a toy. It's a funny little dome thing. You could definitely make something out of these plastic things. Maybe a crafty friend would um, appreciate these sort of things. Mum says she's just found a whole glass battery. So we're going to investigate. What's that? Oh my goodness, I had so I had one of these. Does it still work? It has like a little like ball in it. Like a little oh, the ball's all rusty and it's like a, a game. I remember these as well. Nothing's new. That's cool. Got so many toys. Got like a whole collection of these plastic toys. I think this was a torch. Yeah, look, there's the, there's the button. There's a little torch. And it says here, uh, Ever Ready British. Well, of course, uh, flashlights as they call them in America. Although flashlights were always originally called electric torches. So there you go, it was a, they were invented by um, a British man, I think, as well. So that's quite cool, but again, it's, it's really quite knackered, so I think I'll leave it here. Oh, look, look, it's a milk bottle, but we've got some print on it. Cow and Gate, uh, Farmer's Wife, Double Devon Cream. It whips in brackets and then there's a little lady on there sitting on a fence. Oh, that's quite cool. I think that's probably going to be one of the bottles I take. So I wasn't going to take any. But, I, oh, there's a little robin over there. Hello. They're curious to see what we've been digging up. Oh, they just got something. Just gobbled up a worm. I think this is Pepsi. Pepsi Cola. Some people collect them. It's not in the best condition. Orange Crush Bottle. Oh, registered. Edinburgh. The top's bust though, but that's interesting. 
orange crush what that tasted like it's a propeller look at the color of this foundation hey Donald Trump hasn't been here has he I think this is paint or rather it was paint anyway I'm carrying this glass battery but it's it's complete it's absolutely whole which means it is full of lead oh and it weighs a ton and it's um struggle undergrowth and my hair out and caught again oh. it's a little bottle look a little perfume bottle i might keep that the hawthorn won't let me pass i'm afraid can't get in here. Hawthorn, see? Uh, Hawthorn's very spiky. I'm gonna have to find another way to get in there. Right, we've resorted to crawling under the trees and um, just thought I'd ask, what's been making these holes? They're, they're like, it's like churned up. And uh, before you say like wild boar or whatever, we do not have wild boar. <sighs> Not here anyway, so what did this dear? I know there's badgers. Are they badgers? Like diggings around for like snails and things? I'm not 100% sure. We're out! <laughs> you know how difficult that was to get out of there. We couldn't oh film God. it. It was such a struggle. Look how dense it is. It's just dense. That's horrible. It's crazy. I know we're in a state, um, but you know what? Oh. We found some really good stuff. We found yeah. some brilliant stuff. <laughs> That's, yeah, it's time to get out from the woods now. You can't really call them woods. Just did I just flick that in your face? Uh, sorry about that. Victorious with the. Uh, whole battery. So I think this must be one of the strangest collections of things that we've had on the table. Indeed, indeed. Um, yeah, as you can see, it's, <laughs> it's quite wacky looking, but we're going to talk about a few things. Uh, yeah, we're going to talk about, I think, the little toys down here. Yeah, there's a lot of plastic sort of 1960s toys and they're, they're the kind of things you'd get at Christmas that were kind of throwaway stuff. So I thought this was a pen knife at first, but it turns out to be a toy cutthroat razor. Um, yeah. Yeah, and it's in pretty good condition. <laughs> and it must have come from a set because 
nearby I found this and it's the end it's the end of some clippers, like hair clippers. And it's the same colour green and pink. Yeah, same colours. So it must have been out of the same set. Which and is blue. Strange. Um, and it says on the back of this one, um I think it says made in Hong Kong and a few of these toys have made in Hong Kong or made in England on the back. Yeah. This is made in Hong Kong. This is made in England, so yeah. So yeah, there's a, a toy, definite toy theme there going is. on. I found this television and I suspected it was part of a pencil sharpener because I remember things like this. This is a 60s television, it's quite cool. But nearby, um, I found this random bit of plastic and I thought, oh, I wonder if that's the back of the television, ha ha, I'm not thinking it would be. Turns out it was. Lo and behold. And you can see where the pencil sharpener was glued yeah. on there. What a funky little pencil sharpener that would have been. So that's quite cool. So yeah. pity it's broken here. Yeah, it would actually be perfect to use in some sort of craft. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. I, do you think... You could put a picture of us in there. Oh yeah, mm. a little picture of the Northern Mudlark on the TV. <laughs> if we want to look at ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. Um, yeah, it would be perfect for some sort of craft, wouldn't it, I think? And another toy that I rather like that Alex found is this little Volkswagen Beetle. I think it's quite an early one and probably made by Dinky, although there's yeah. no way of reading the bottom. No. It's a bit far gone, <laughs> It's actually. a complete wreck, yeah. but I'd love it to be restored, but I don't think we can do that. <laughs> and it's, just, it's a cool green as well. Look at that green. It's like kind of olive green. Yeah, it is. It's like Well, it is moss. now. It might not have originally been that mm, kind of colour. Yeah. And yeah, you can see, look, it's falling apart. <laughs> yeah, it's bits crumbling off it. And this, um, just below it, I thought at first it was some, a medallion, but I now think it was, it's a lid off something. Yeah, You see where the, that's where the hinge has been, probably off a mustard pot or some yeah. sort of... And of course, this, um, like, <laughs> joke sort of toy mask thing, which I think is actually really funny. We've all had these. I can't believe this was just it's sticking such, out of the ground. It's in like, such good condition. Um, it, oh, obviously, it doesn't have the arms that went off the glasses. Yeah. And, um, yeah, as I mentioned before, it says made in Hong Kong on the back. I can't remember where I saw it now. Oh, there, under the, under the nose. Under the nose, there. yeah. So, yeah, there's there's no, like, made in China back then. Was, were these things... Although Hong Kong, strictly speaking, is part of China. Well, it is now. It is now, yeah, yeah. but... It was originally... The most horrible doll's leg I've ever seen. I love it. I, I th the more it would, it, it's like a zombie, like a zombie doll. Yeah, I tried to clean it. I don't no. think there's no, there is any, no. any more bringing that back. No. Um, what we do have that's not toy related. So at the back, it's, it's mainly toy related stuff, isn't it? But yeah. We have our lemon squeezer. Unfortunately, it's very cracked and yeah. chipped. Much worse than I thought it was. Which we, you can't really see at the time when it's covered in mud and no, dirt. No, but there's some pretty major cracks yeah. running through there. It's got one of the men, unfortunately. Um, but this glass is in pretty good condition. It's just got one little sort of chip down there. Yeah, yeah. it's just kind of like a dink in the glass, but you can't even see it. No. Unless you like flip it over. So but you could use it as a little vase to put I'm gonna flowers in. Use it to probably put fines in, actually. Yeah. Put in the fines cabinet. These little jars are handy for holding stuff. Um, we've got our milk jar and this little thing. Yeah, it looks like... Um, I've been fooled by these before. Yeah, so we have. They look like perfume bottles, but they're actually little sweetie jars. Would have come in a set for like a toy shop. Yeah, like a yeah. little tuck shop. And yeah, so that would have been full of sweets or candy. Um, if you're from the States. Uh, we have some ceramic pots here. Yes, and these two are both... I'll move this out of the way. Move them. These two are both Japanese. This is Japanese lusterware. Yeah, you can see what it's called lusterware. Oh, look, you can see us in there. Hello. 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 <laughs> and this one is, is a named one. Oh, and yeah. it's Maritoma ware, made in Japan. And unfortunately, yeah. this is also badly oh, cracked no. and... Yeah. Damage. It's a shame. So these little Japanese pots was, were obviously a thing. Yeah. Um, because there were more than this, but the other ones were all broken. Yeah, I think this company were quite went a lot from of the 1930s. 
Um, it looks very vintage, you know. Very it does look very fifties. It, it, it does, yeah. yeah. Um, and of course, this I think this is so like sixties, doesn't it? Just yeah, look so sixties. Yeah. This little perfume disinfectant bottle. Um, we're not a like we're not really a collector of plastic things, are we? No, but they are part of our history. They are. And, as uh, recent as that may be, they're still part of our history. The thing is, the big difference between the vintage dump and the Victorian dumps that we go on is, on Victorian dumps we only find china, glass and some metal, non-ferrous metal, because everything else has rotted away. Yeah. The 60s, however, and 50s... This isn't rot. Plastic <laughs> came in, and so these things that were thrown away when perhaps you or I were small children are still lying there. All of our stuff that was thrown away way back when is still out there somewhere, yeah. which is a bit disturbing. So, yeah, all, yeah. Every, all of our viewers that um, were children in the 60s, all your toys yeah. are out there right now, lying somewhere yeah. in a t on a tip. It, yeah, so it's quite disturbing. So a lot of Victorian things and earlier were made of wood and paper mache and paper. Um, so any of the China things survive. But coming back to uh, China, because some of the toys actually do survive, don't they? Yeah. <laughs> From beyond the plastic era. So we have um, the find of the day. It's this tiny little pudding doll. This is the first little pudding doll we found of this size that is not only glazed, as you can see, but she has a full head of hair painted on there, eyebrows, eyeballs, a little <laughs> mouth, and rosy cheeks all painted on there. And a black heart. And we've, oh yeah, she's mm. got like a pierced heart. But we've measured her and, um, well, oops, whoops. <laughs> he or she... It's just one... Or them, whoever just they are. one inch. They're, yes, they're just one inch. And on the back it says here, I think it's three over four or five over four. Um, not sure yeah, what that is. So I'm not sure what that means. No. Um, and you can see how she is not glazed on her bottom and her legs. Um, some people wrongly think that these one-piece dolls were made like that, so they'd float. But that's just... Misinformation, yeah. it's wrong. They were made like this, not glazed on the back. So when they were put in the kiln with the glaze on and fired, when the glaze, which is essentially glass, melted, it didn't stick it to the bottom of the kiln or the shelf that it was sitting on when it was fired. So that's the reason she has a bare bottom. Yeah. So anyway, that there's lots of information. I could go on forever about these little pudding dolls. I but... Know. Um, but we absolutely love them. We do. And we have quite a collection of little dollies and dolly-related things now, which we will have to we show you. We love them. It's that these little pudding dolls, uh, our collection is, on my, is my favourite collection of all the things that we yeah. found. They're my favourite collection of things. Um, so I am absolutely over the moon with that. I can't believe it's the only thing I found on that bit. On the older bit, yeah. Yeah. And the last thing we found is this thing. I know some of you might be like, why on earth did you take some minging old battery home? And but, well, it actually is. Yeah, they're quite collectible. Collectible yeah. and interesting and they're and a piece of history. The interesting thing about this one is it still has the top on with the yeah, terminals. And that's where it would be open to top it up with acid. It says acid level on the front there. Yeah. And the make of this is Eddie Swan. And this was an amalgamation of two companies, Thomas Edison's company from America and Joseph Swan's company from the UK, who both sort of simultaneously invented the light bulb, um, slightly varying from each other. In 1880, they were both patented at the same time. And so instead of becoming rivals, um, they sort of joined forces and made Ediswan brought it a little bit to the front here and we're not sure what we're going to do with it because personally I think it's ugly. I'd like <laughs> it better if it was just the glass. Yeah. We've got some like that and you can use them as just 
like a vase or something. But they are highly collectible and surprisingly sell for a lot of yes, money. Some of them is, I've seen two or three hundred pounds. Which so. is crazy. Yeah. And this one is whole. I don't know if that makes it more um, like desirable. So It's got these little like handles. handles oh and actually didn't grandma um when she was younger actually yeah. have a job filling these bags? <clears throat> she had a job in halfords when she was a girl and her job was to top the batteries up that came in with, with acid? acid how strange is that so grandma yeah. would have actually these exact kind of batteries yeah. she had been filling them up when they were yeah. I suppose they ran low after Being a while used. i don't really know about them no. but don't know. she'd have to top them up yeah. Wow. So that's cool. It's a bit of personal history there. Yeah. Connected to old batteries. So yeah, there you go. But um, I'm sure there is someone out there who would actually really appreciate having this. So yeah. Yeah. when we find that person, although it weighs a ton, it weighs a, it weighs a ton. So yeah. Yeah. Shipping this overseas would be very costly. Yeah, because it has it's lead. It's lead. It is heavy yeah anyway it's interesting um and the company is interesting in its history but anyway that is everything for today um a big thank you to everyone who has subscribed everyone has liked this video and of course an extra special thank you to our patrons on patreon who helped keep us going every month thank you so much and also please do check that you are still subscribed because a lot of people tell us that they have been unsubscribed yeah. for some reason um it's nothing to do with us um we don't know why it happens, but just check. Yeah. Because we really do want to get to that 100,000 subscribers. And hopefully next year we'll be hitting that target. Yeah. And yeah. it will be really exciting. It's taking a while. It's, it's taking it's a while. A we're, yeah. we're getting there, you know. Slow and steady wins the race. Yes. Oh, and we've also forgotten something else. So down there in the corner of the window of wonders is a jar of cod marbles. And this year's cod marbles. This, oh, yeah, just this year. Um, and we asked people to guess how many marbles they thought were in the jar a few weeks ago. Yes, a uh, lot of people came tantalizingly yes. close, but no one actually hit the nail on the so, head. Yeah, nobody got it. There are exactly 90 cod marbles in that jar, and someone commented, 89, which is so <laughs> close, you were one off. You were just one off. But yeah. yeah, nobody got 90. But surprisingly, it doesn't look like 90 cod marbles, I it don't doesn't. think. It doesn't. I guessed um, like 84, I think. Yeah, I guessed so, about 70. Yeah, like. so um, yeah, 90 cod marbles. This 90 year. exactly, yeah. I wonder That's if we can, amazing. I know. We went down and picked up every, every single, single one, one of those.